It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once previously and today's winner moves on to the semifinals to play Magnolia Elementary. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Northview Elementary, would you please say hello to Eric Harris Beckham, Caitlin Shaw, and Leah Solomon. And from Rockledge Elementary, here they are, Miriam Muley, Kennedy Minus, and Ava Mikulyuna. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. The easier questions there on the left worth 5 and 10. The tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have a competitor for the semifinals. Let's make sure we go over and find that everything works properly. Caitlin, would you try your buzzer? Looks good, sounds good. Good luck to you, to Le Leah, and to Eric, and Kennedy. Green team, give it a push. Looking and sounding good. Good luck to you and to Ava and to Miriam. And this, of course, is your first time on the show because you were alternates before. And Northview, this is your uh, second time back here. All right. Are we ready to play? Yeah. Let's do this thing. Let's have a great game. We're expecting one because you have a lot of talent over there. We go alphabetically N before R. So, Northview, let's play the bowl. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, scientists now say they're worried that the oceans are getting so warm that the plankton in the ocean will stop this process and eventually all of us will suffocate. What process might halt in those warm oceans, Northview? Photosynthesis. Yes, ma'am, absolutely right. And without all that oxygen coming at us from those plankton, uh, we're going to have to depend on the trees. That might not be enough. Good start. Go, Red. Zoo paid for 15. Zoo paid for 15 points. Teams, if you're in Africa and there's nothing to eat, you could eat some bugs. Or better yet, you could dig up a scorpion, pop off the stinger, and pop not an insect into your mouth, but because it has eight legs, it's a member of this group of arthropods, Caitlin. Arachnids. Arachnids? Yeah, absolutely right. Thank you, Eric. Nice assist. It is an arachnid, like a spider is. Good job. Go, red. Um, let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, nanoparticles of zinc oxide are what is found in sunscreen, and it is them, it is they that help to absorb this kind of light that can be damaging. Northview. Gamma rays. Not gamma rays. Good try. Come on, Rockledge. Rockledge, let's get on the board here. It is zinc oxide nanoparticles in the sunscreen that actually do the absorbing of this kind of light that we know is damaging. Sunlight. Sunlight? More specifically. Ultraviolet? That's what I want to hear. Good comeback. Boy, three heads better than one. I like to see that. Go green. Um, zoo Parade for 10 points. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. There he was. Scrat chasing an acorn. Scrat from the Ice Age movies is a saber-toothed version of what mammal? Northview. Squirrel. 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 Squirrel.
squirrel. It is a saber tooth squirrel. Absolutely right. And just could not quite get that acorn. It was like the, the road runner and the coyote, just always out of reach. Good, go, Red. Good teamwork. Science Potpourri for 15. Science Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, the Sphinx, that big statue in the Egyptian desert, is made almost entirely of this L initial kind of sedimentary rock. Yes, North U. Limestone. Limestone, absolutely. Calcium carbonate, yeah, good. Red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if something is uplifting and makes you feel good, it's an inspiration. Inspiration also describes what we do every minute of every day. It also is when you do what, North View? Breathe. Breathe, absolutely right. You inspire air and you expire air. Inspiration. Thank you, Leah. You're a good player. You're listening to all those clues. Go red. Green things for 15. For 15 points in green things. Teams, there is a flower company called Calyx and Corolla. Boy, it is perfectly named because the Calyx is actually the description of the little sepals on the outside of the flower, and the Corolla, those are the pretty parts of the flower known as these. Chocolate. Petals. Petals, that's it, good. Green. Kennedy. Um, green things for five points. Green things for five points. Teams, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Caitlin? A partridge in a pear tree. That's right, a partridge in what kind of green thing? In a pear tree. I'm glad you rang in so you didn't have to listen to more of my singing. Go, red. Um, zoo prayed for 20. <laughs> zoo prayed for 20 points. Teams, Veterinarians now are able to give dogs or cats who have lost limbs, artificial limbs, that are otherwise known by this P initial term. Prosthetic. Prosthetics. North U. Prosthetics. Yeah, those are prosthetics. Yes, the same as we get if we have artificial limbs. Nicely done. All of you are contributing so well. Go. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Uh, teams, sloths move so slowly that these tiny green plants normally found in an aquarium grow all over their fur and help to camouflage them, Rockledge. Seaweed? Uh, give me another, another word. Algae? Algae, that's what I want to hear, good. And uh, I liked, Ava, that you smacked her hand there and said, come on, ring that buzzer, because we know that thing. Yeah, because look at this team, they're out there to 145. Don't let them get away from you. Go, Kennedy. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the American Medical Association now says that these numbers, the systole and diastole numbers, that can be measured by a sphygmomanometer have to be changed because heart disease is a big problem in this country. Those numbers, like 120 over 80, measure what in your body? Blood North View. Blood sugar levels? Not blood sugar, that's a very good try. Uh, Kennedy, it's on the tip of your tongue. Blood pressure? Blood pressure, absolutely. Systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Good. Go. Ooh, the buzzer says, just hold on, Mr. Z. We're going to go to a break, but before we do and before we resume play, let's check that score right now. Rockledge 105, Northview 145. We got a game going here. Don't, go, don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. Simple moments are what make every day count.
Welcome back to Science Bowl. So nice to have you here during our 30th year on the air. And uh, boy, the students, they continue to amaze and dazzle. And the teams here today vying for a chance to move on to the semifinals. We're proud of all six of them. Let's find out a little bit more about each of them. Let's go to Northview. Wonderful school out there in Bowie. And uh, give us the Northview story here. Who's your principal and uh, who are your sponsors? Our principal is Mr. Simmons, and our sponsors are Ms. Grove and Mr. Moffat. Wonderful. And the sponsors have been sponsors of the team almost since the school started. They do such a wonderful job. And, of course, I always like that you wear lab coats. You really look the part of scientists. Psychologically, that's got to help. And tell me what that little guy is on the set there, Caitlin. That's our science bot. Your science bot, yes. Yeah, he bringing you good luck? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think I would say so. Absolutely right. Tell me uh, any alternates on your team, Caitlin. Yes, we have one Sydney BA. Wonderful. And Sydney is out there. She's rooting for you, I know, and she'll be out in a few moments with Mr. Moffat and Miss Grove. Uh, best thing about Northview? Best thing? Um, we have lots of fun there, like, and we are, learn lots of new and interesting facts. You look like you're having fun here today, too, and I hope it's that way at Northview every day. You guys look like you really enjoy being at that school. And someday, what are you going to do? I'll be a marine biologist. Yeah, because I know you want to get in there and you just love it. Have you ever been scuba diving or snorkeling? No. That's something you got to do, you know, and you'll not want to stop. It's going to make you want to do it even more once you have your heart set on. Leah, nice to have you with us. How do you know so much science? Because you do. Well, science is my favorite subject, and I like that in science there's still a lot that I have a chance of discovering because in science there's always going to be something that we don't know yet that there's still a chance of discovering. Boy, am I glad to hear you say that because sometimes it seems like everything that could be discovered has been discovered, but we've barely scratched the surface out there. And I hope you follow that dream into science someday. Eric, nice to have you here today. How do you know so much about science? Well, I've been watching a lot of science videos since I joined Science Bowl because, well, my friend recommended it and he kind of didn't make it. He didn't make it, but you're here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're playing for him and then you got uh, two younger brothers or sisters at home? Brothers. Brothers, yeah, so they're looking up to you and uh, what do you hope to do someday? I hope to be a very good video game designer. Not just any old designer, a very good one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, have standards and aim to be perfect. That's really good, Eric. And Leah, before I leave you, I don't think I asked you what you wanted to do when you get older. Um, I want to be an architect. Yeah, and we were talking about buildings. And what building do you really like? The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, yeah. And with so much in the news about France lately, we've seen so much of the Eiffel Tower, haven't we? They're like a giant erector set over there. Yeah. Nice to have you back. Let's go to the Rockledge team. And uh, even though Rockledge won previously, these three young people were alternates, but now they've been called up from the minor leagues, if you will. So now you are in the majors. Showtime here. Kennedy, tell us about Rockledge. Principal and sponsor. Our principal is Miss Seidel, and our sponsor is Miss Stimson. Wonderful. And they're out there. They're rooting for you. And who are the alternates now? Kellen. Kalia and Isaac. We'll bring them back out in just a few moments because they're definitely on your side and rooting for you. Tell me the Kennedy story. What do you want to do someday? I want to be an OBGYN doctor. Why? Because I really think it's nice to discover how to take out babies and just learn new things. That's how we all start, right? And so you need to do it right and have someone there to encourage you and tell you the right stuff to do. Uh, tell me what you like about Rockledge. I like the teachers there. They're really nice, and you can always talk to them when you need help. Wow. That's what teachers should be, right? And you've got some good ones there. You're evidence of that. Ava, nice to have you here today. I know you and Miriam both. I think you play every sport known to man or woman. You know, you swim, you play football, you're into cricket, softball, everything. So uh, how would you find time to do all those things and still be an outstanding student? Um, well, because... Um, I've always loved playing sports when I was younger. I always practiced it, and I always thought that it would be fun to keep playing them, and I always played them with my family, my brother, and my dad, and my mom, and I thought it would be really fun to play all the sports. Yeah. It's a family affair, and it keeps you fit. You know, you're a better student if you're a fit student. And what do you want to do someday? I want to be a marine biologist. Wow, you and Caitlin have the same dream over here. Have you ever snorkeled or uh, scuba dived? 
when will know, but I I love swimming in my in the lake that my aunt has. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And Miriam, nice to have you here. Like Ava, you are a safety patrol, so you are someone we salute when we go to Rockledge. And I asked Ava before, do the kids listen to her? And she said, nah, they don't listen. How about to you? Do they listen to what you say? Mm -hmm. All right. So you've got that look of authority about you, huh? Yeah. What do you want to do someday? I'm an accountant. An accountant. Yeah. Why so? Because my grandma was the one, and I really like math. Wow, and those are two very good reasons. You're playing a nice game. Let's get some more points here in the second half. Let's get back to it. Lots of points to give away. 145 Northview, 105 Rockledge. Let's get back to it. Last correct answer came from Kennedy. Start us out. Zooparade for five. Zooparade for five points. Teams, although there are many different kinds of these that belong to the largest phylum called periphera, None of them live in a pineapple under the sea. Sponge. Northview? Sponge. Sponges, yes. Peripherans are sponges. And SpongeBob is the exception. But I do like them. Go red. Um, green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, if you put together an alga and a fungus, you get reindeer moss, which is otherwise known by what L initialed term for 25 points. A relationship between an alga and a fungus produces this L-initialed organism that is otherwise known as reindeer moss. For 25 points north, you can you tell me? Larva. Not larva. Good try. Rockledge, 25 points get you back in the game here. Alga and a fungus together, sometimes called a reindeer moss, but it is actually one of these L-initialed organisms. It is a lichen. L-I-C-H-E-N. Go red. Um, for 25. Zoo for 25. Zoo for 25. Visual question teams, look at the monitor in the studio, please. You can see a hornbill on the right with a group of mongoose in Africa. They get along just fine. They help each other hunt. They warn each other of predators. What kind of relationship is that where they help each other? Um. Northview says they think they might know. Rock, let you have an answer in case I have to come to you. What you got, Caitlin? Any idea? Um, Don't ring in unless you have an idea. Rockledge, two species working together, helping each other to find food and to warn of predators. What you got? I like to pass it on to Ava. Ava. A potter group. A what? A, a group. A group, not a group. It's called symbiosis. Symbi See, now you know, right, when I tell you. Symbiosis, sometimes called mutualism as well. Okay, there. You Symbiotic relationships. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Yeah, go red. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, the Viking in How to Train Your Dragon, who trains toothless, is also something that happens to you when you get a spasm in your diaphragm. Northview. Oh, you rang in, but no answer. Kennedy, who is that Viking in How to Train Your Dragon who trained the dragon toothless? And his name also means when you get a spasm in your diaphragm. Hiccup. Hiccup, that's it, good. Go green. Um, like to see you smile. Go. Let's get physical for 10 points. Let's get physical for 10 points, teams. The first planet in our solar system that could not be seen with the naked eye. You needed a telescope to see it. Caitlin? Mercury? Not Mercury, no. The first planet in the solar system that could not be seen with the naked eye. You needed a telescope was no. this planet that was discovered in 1781 by William Herschel. Name it. Mars? Uranus. Uranus. You can see, you can see Mars, you can see Jupiter, but you cannot see, you can even see Saturn, but you cannot see Uranus with the naked eye. Go green. Um. Let's get physical for five points. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, this scientist who wrote a book only using a thousand words described this substance this way. The stuff that we put in pools so nothing bad can grow there. Yeah, North chlorine. chlorine is right. Yes, indeed. Very poor English, I might add. Go red. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, tough question. Put on your thinking caps here. The reason why drugs and poisons are often so deadly is because they interfere with these 
E initial chemicals that help to move along or catalyze chemical reactions. What do we call those E initial chemicals? Also important in digestion. Those are enzymes. Enzymes. Try again, red. Um, science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, additive manufacturing is another way of saying this kind of new printing. What kind of printing now is also known as additive manufacturing, where you can pr print out things like body parts? Rockledge. X-ray. Not X-ray. Good try. Northview, what kind of printing can print out things like body parts? It is also known as additive manufacturing, but it is known as this kind of printing. 3D printing. 3D printing. 3D printing. 3D Come on, Caitlin, listen to your... And <laughs> you got it in stereo. Yes, ma'am. 3D it is. Good. Go. Um, science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Thank you, Aaliyah and Eric, for helping her out there. All right, teams. It was Albert Einstein who eventually disproved that there was this V initial planet orbiting the sun near Mercury. Venus. Venus. Not Venus. Listen to me finish. Albert Einstein disproved that there was this V initial planet orbiting near Mercury. It really doesn't exist, but it did exist in science fiction on Star Trek as the home of Mr. Spock. What is that V initial planet called? That was Vulcan, V-U-L-C-A-N. He was a Vulcan. Go again, please, Red. Science Pope, science Pope Brief for five. Science Pope Brief for five points, teams. Whether it's anthracite or bituminous, no kid wants to get a lump of this in his Christmas stocking. Cole. Caitlin, Cole, that's right, good, go. Um, body systems for 25. Body systems for 25, big one in that category, teams. Diabetics have been told by their doctors that if they lose fat in this organ that produces insulin, diabetes can be reversed. Name that organ for 25 points, Rockledge. Immune system? No, that's not an organ. That's not an organ now. Good try. Northview, what organ? No, the pancreas. The pancreas is where the insulin is produced. No points. Okay, we're, we're kind of stalled here. Come on, Caitlin. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, when the actor Alan Alda was your age, he asked his teacher, what is a flame? Tell me what a flame is. And the teacher gave him a one-word answer that began with an O that is a synonym for combustion. What is that O initial term that means the same thing as combustion that the teacher used as a definition for what a flame is? Oxide. Give me another form, please. Judges, what do you got? Not yet. More, more. Um, You're on the right track. Give me more. Uh, Help her out. Uh, mm, Oxident. Oxident. Not quite. No. Rockledge, a synonym for combustion begins with the letter O. Any idea, girls? Oxidation. Oxidation was the right form we were looking for. Go again, Red. Game almost over. Go, Caitlin. Date, dateline science for 10. Dateline science for 10 points. Teams, in a neighboring school system, they are examining dozens of schools for the presence of this odorless, colorless, radioactive gas with the chemical symbol RN. If you've been listening to the news, you've heard about this. What is that gas called with the symbol RN? That's radon, radon. Go again, red. Dateline science for five. Sci Dateline science for five points, teams. When astronaut Neil Armstrong first stepped onto the moon in July 1969, he invoked America's national bird when he said the blank has landed. Rockledge. Eagle. Eagle, good. Three. High question. Yes, ma'am. Um. Let's get physical for 25 points. Let's get physical for 25 for the big one in that category, teams. I know you know this one for 25. Get ready on your buzzers. This most famous of all equations, E equals mc squared, that Einstein came up with his special theory of relativity. The E stands for what kind of energy that is the opposite of potential? Northview. Inertia. Not inertia. 
What kind of energy is the opposite of potential energy that that E represents? That's kinetic energy. Try again, Green. Um, Dateline science for 15 points. Dateline science for 15 points, teams. Element number 101 is Mendelevium. Name for Mr. Mr. Mendelev, Mr. Mr. Mendeleev, who came up with what chart where all of the chemical elements are displayed, Kennedy? Periodic table. That's right. Yes. Okay, go. Daylight science for 20 points. Daylight science for 20 points. What scientist said, I don't think human beings will survive another thousand years unless we spread out into space. He is a famous physicist who wrote a brief history of time and has spent his life in a wheelchair because he has ALS, Northview. Stephen Northview. J. Stephen J. Hopkins. Stephen J. Hopkins. Stephen J. Hopkins. Say it again, please. Stephen, Stephen J. Hopkins. Stephen. Stephen J. Hopkins. Hawking. What is, the, what is the last name? Steve Hawkins. Hawkins. Hawk Hawking. Judges? Hawkins. Yes, we will give that to you. All right, Stephen J. Hawking it is. That buzzer has sounded. You had won that game already. We'll be back with a wrap-up in one moment. Don't go away. If you're like most families, you probably have video game fans in your home. But not every game is right for every kid, which is where the ESRB ratings come in. They help parents make informed decisions for their kids. And there's an easy-to-use mobile app that gives you detailed info on specific game ratings. Video game consoles have parental controls that you can set to block certain games by age rating. So they get all the fun, and you get peace of mind. I tell people I have three kids. One of them's adopted. I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation? Why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you. He is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine from him. So we're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. And welcome back to Science Bowl. It was a good game, just as we expected. And even though they couldn't quite get Stephen J. Hawking's name right, that was one of the few things that caused any problems for that team from Northview. Our final tally today is Rockledge 130, Northview 190. Congratulations to the team in the white lab coats. Eric and Caitlin and Leah. And look at Sydney back there. She's so shy. Look at her putting on a wonderful performance. She made the bot there. And Elizabeth and Bruce, thank you again for a wonderful team. You guys are going to the semifinals. And let's see a big smile over there for everybody, from Miriam and Kennedy and Ava. And look at the shadow team that got them here. That's Kalia and Isaac and Kellen and Miss Stimson. Thank you for giving everybody a chance to play here today. That was very nice of you. And girls, you did a nice job. And you did a nice job, too, for being here and playing along. We'll see you next time on the Science Bowl. This is Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.